Excel A Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2019, Question 14. Use the substitution u equals 4 minus root h to show that the integral of 1 over 4 minus root h with respect to h equals minus 8 log natural 4 minus root h minus 2 root h plus k, where k is a constant. So we're letting u equal 4 minus root h. If we differentiate this with respect to h, we get du by dh. The 4 will disappear. Root h, remember that's h to the power of a half, so we bring that half down, we knock one off the power, and remembering that there's a negative in there, so it's minus a half times h to the power of negative a half. Inverting this, so we've got dh by du, so the half will become a 2, the h to the negative a half will become h positive a half, so dh by du equals minus 2 root h which if we replace our root h, we know that u equals 4 minus root h. So root h must be 4 minus u. So we've got that dh by du equals minus 2 dots of 4 minus u. Our original integral is dh over 4 minus root h. Well, that's got 4 minus root h on the bottom. So if we make that into 1 over u, if we replace the dh with dh over du times du, we get the integral of 1 over u, dh by du, du. We know what dh over du is, so now we've got the integral of minus 2 times 4 minus u all over u with respect to du. Expanding the top and dividing through by that u on the bottom gives us the integral of minus 8 over u plus 2 with respect to du. We can do this now. So we've got minus 8 log natural u, the 2 becomes 2u we've got our constant c on the end. But we need to replace our u because we need everything in terms of h. So putting u equals 4 minus root h back in, we get minus 8 log natural 4 minus root h plus 2 lots of 4 minus root h plus c. So the log natural part is how we need it to be. Let's expand the second bracket now. So that becomes 8 minus 2 root h. But now if you see, we've got c, which is a constant. We've got 8, which is a constant. So if we bring them together, let them equal k, as in the question, we get minus 8 log natural 4 minus root h minus 2 root h plus k as required. A team of scientists is studying a species of slow growing tree. The rate of change in height of a tree in this species is modelled by the differential equation dh by dt equals t to the power of 0 0.25 times 4 minus root h all over 20, where h is the height in metres and t is the time measured in years after the tree is planted. We need to find, according to the model, the range in heights of trees in this species. So we've been given a differential, dh by dt. As we're looking for a range, we want maximum and minimum if they exist. So we're going to set dh by dt equal to 0. So we've got t to the power of 0 0.25 times by 4 minus root h all over 20 equals 0. We're looking for height. So if we times by the 20 and get rid of the time by dividing by t to the 0 0.25, we get that the bracket 4 minus root h must equal 0. So root h equals 4, h equals 16. This must be the maximum because we're looking at heights of trees. We're going to start from the bottom, so we're going to start from zero. So our range is zero to 16. Part C, one of these trees is one meter high when it's first planted. According to the model, calculate the time this tree would take to reach a height of 12 meters, giving your answer to three significant figures. So we're given our differential dh by dt in part B. At the moment, we've got t and h both on the same side. Let's get that h over to the left-hand side, where we can then make an integral with dh. So dividing through by 4 minus root h, we get 1 over 4 minus root h dh by dt equals t to the power of 0 0.25 over 20. Now, looking at the left-hand side of this, it's remarkably similar to our integral in part a. 
So if we integrate both sides with respect to dt, that will cancel out the dt on the dh by dt, and we'll end up with the integral of 1 over 4 minus root h dh, as we have in part a. And this is equal to the integral of t to the 0 0.25 over 20 dt. Well, on the left hand side, we know what the integral of this is. We did it in part a. The right hand side, we've got t to the 0 0.25. So raise the power by 1 to give us 1.25 or 5 over 4. Divide by the new power to give us 1 25th t to the 5 over 4. Now we need to work out what k, our constant, is, but we're told in the question that the tree is one metre high when it's first planted. So at t equals zero, the time when it's first planted, h is equal to one. So let's substitute these in. We get minus eight log natural four minus root one, which is three, minus two lots of root one, so two, plus k equals zero, because we've Substituted t equals 0 into there. Rearranging that gives us that k equals 8 log natural 3 plus 2. So replacing our k with that, we've now got minus 8 log natural 4 minus root h, minus 2 root h, plus 8 log natural 3 plus 2 is equal to 1 over 25 times t to the 5 over 4. We want to work out the amount of time that it's going to take the tree to reach a height of 12 metres. So we're going to substitute h equals 12 in. Simplifying that left hand side and sticking it into the calculator gives us 8.85. So we know that 1 over 25 times t to the 5 over 4 equals 8.85. Times in both sides by 25 gives us that t to the power of 5 over 4 equals 221.28. At this point, you can either use the root function on your calculator, putting 5 over 4 as the root, and getting the answer from there. You could do both sides to the power of 4 to find the fifth root. It's up to you. Either way, t is then equal to 75.2 years. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.